In today's wood fired workshop we're cooking these wonderfully soft, light, buttery dinner rolls. Stick around to see the whole recipe. Hi everyone, welcome to Manor from Devon Cooking School. In this workshop we're going to be making some dinner rolls and cooking them in the Bushman Santorini oven. As ever, the first thing we need to do is make some dough. And in my bowl here I've got white flour and a little bit of wholemeal flour. I've also got yeast and salt and butter. I'm going to use a mix of milk and water. So I'm going to mix these ingredients together in the bowl, break up the butter a little bit. Just going to break that up to help distribute things to start with. And then I can go straight in with my liquid. It's going to be a kind of soft and sticky dough to start with. But then eventually the butter will absorb into the flour. So we just have to put up with a little bit of stickiness to start with. So I'm just using the dough scraper here to cut and mix, lift, cut and mix, getting underneath the dough so I get to any dry bits get everything mixed in. Once I've got all the flour mixed into there, I can pop it out onto the table. Now we're going to start to knead this a little bit. As I mentioned, it's going to be sticky to start with. I don't want to add a lot of flour, so I'm just going to ignore the fact that it's sticky. So you can see where it's all sticky on the table here, where the butter is. <clears throat> there might be a temptation to add more flour at this point because of that, but then I'd have a dough which is too dry. And I really want a dough which is soft and pillowy and still kind of a little bit moist when we are finished. And already I can feel that that butter is starting to be absorbed, so it's getting drier and easier to work with. And I just use the scraper to bring that all together every once in a while and then carry on working. If I'm doing this with a bit of energy, then you know kneading should take six or seven minutes. If I'm being a bit more relaxed about it, then it might make ten, but shouldn't take any more than that. And you can see that already that's a much drier dough and much easier to handle. So this dough now is feeling nice and dry. It's also getting nice and smooth and very springy. So that's pretty much ready. So now that that's ready, I'm going to tighten it up, pop it back into that buttery bowl, put something over the top so it doesn't dry out. I'm going to leave it for an hour or two till it's nice and risen and ready for the next stage and then we'll come back to it. Welcome back. It's been a couple of hours. It's a particularly cold day today here. So uh, everything's happening kind of slowly, but you can see that this is now nicely risen, it's nice and soft, uh, it's got these bubbles appearing on top, so we're ready to move on to the next stage, which is to reshape and um, put them in the tin. So I'm going to knock this dough back a little bit. All that original stickiness from the butter has now disappeared. And I'm going to divide this up so that we've got eight rolls. So they should be around about 100 grams each if I wanted to weigh them. I'm just going to eyeball it in this case. And now to shake these, I just do a very quick roll on the table. Because this is not a particularly soft dough and the stickiness is gone, it should be fairly straightforward. We shouldn't need any um, flour, so I just get that moving nicely on the table and then a little bit of pressure with the inside of my hand whilst cupping my fingers over the top 
So you want the dough moving in a nice circle on the table. Nice and loose, no pressure at this point. Once you're happy that it's moving nicely, a little bit of pressure with the inside of your hand. And then cup your fingers and that's going to tuck the undersides in. Then you can put, a, if, as long as it's moving, you can put a little bit more pressure on it. And then you can do it with two hands simultaneously to speed things up. And now we're going to decorate these. <coughs> so I've got my pan ready here with a little bit of, I've just sprinkled a little bit of wholemeal flour in the bottom. I'm going to take a roll, dip it in the water, dip it in the seeds like that, take the next one, dip it in the other seeds, we're using poppy and sesame here, I'm going to put a larger bowl over the top to act like a cloche and I expect today it's going to be at least another 45 minutes, maybe even an hour or so until these are ready to go into the oven. Our rolls have been sat in the kitchen now for almost an hour and da -da, there we are nicely risen if I give them a little poke they're feeling nice and soft just with a little bit of spring back they're perfect ready to go in the oven so the oven for this wants to be four or five Mississippi so I'm going to pop these in the oven and uh, we'll take a look after 10 minutes and see how they're doing If you're doing these in the metal oven, you're probably going to have a, a few embers over on one side. Bit of heat in the floor, not too hot, but a bit of heat in the floor. And the door closed or almost closed should see you right. Whilst we're waiting for those to cook, thanks for watching our video. and Thanks for joining us on our wood-fired workshop. <clears throat> we produce these workshops on a regular basis, so please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about this recipe, any baking or any wood-fired questions, please put them in the comments below and we will respond to you. And if you do cook this dish, please let us know how it went. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. That's 10 minutes in the oven. We'll have a look. They look fantastic, really well risen. Lovely smell coming from the oven. Lovely colour. So they're just a tiny little bit pale on the bottom, so I am going to flip them over and pop them straight back in directly on the floor of the oven. i just give them two or three more minutes like that and we'll be done. Our buns are cooked. Lovely and light. And they look great. Just pop them on the middle of the table like that whilst they're still hot and uh, everybody will dive into them and they'll be gone in seconds.